My name is Caleb Coggins. I am the Director of Compliance Services at Megaplan IP. And today I would like to talk with you about vulnerability management challenges, visibility, consistency, and making risk-based decisions. But first, what is the vulnerability and how are they measured? Vulnerabilities are weaknesses or features that may be exploited by a threat and lead to additional risks to an organization. They exist in a variety of places, including systems, networks, and applications. Vulnerabilities are often remediated by a software security update or configuration change. However, they may also be addressed by implementing specific security controls or other mitigations. And while vulnerabilities are common, they're not all the same. They can range in characteristics by type and level of severity. The Common Vulnerability Scoring System, or CVSS framework, is used to generate standardized scores for known software vulnerabilities. But CVSS uses exploitability and impact metrics to quantify the severity. A key point here is that CVSS scores are measuring severity not risk or issues that are specific to a particular company or organization. Now let's shift from vulnerabilities to vulnerability management. Vulnerability management is an iterative process or life cycle. As part of an enterprise security program, it supports compliance with various frameworks and standards, including PCI DSS and the NIST cybersecurity framework. Functionally, this process is intended to identify, assess, report on, and manage vulnerabilities. And as we've seen, vulnerability management is a lot more than just running a network scan or installing a few patches. Like other security programs and processes, vulnerability management requires a strategy, a plan, a scope and an understanding of how it interconnects with other security and risk-related functions within an organization. Now, after developing the vulnerability management strategy and plan, we need to implement it, conduct our assessment-related activities, and continuously improve the process. But what problems are we trying to solve with vulnerability management? A business needs to manage risk. Technology services can introduce risk and software vulnerabilities can elevate risk to an unacceptable level. Vulnerability management helps us to identify what we have, determine what needs to be addressed and prioritize and manage remediation so that technology stacks and services align closer to an accepted level of risk. Now let's look more closely at those vulnerability management challenges visibility, consistency, and making risk-based decisions. Visibility. Visibility is a common challenge. We often have an incomplete picture of the assets or systems and their associated vulnerabilities. We need visibility into both. Inventory and asset management processes can improve visibility into what active systems and services we are using. The inventory may include on-prem cloud-based services, various platforms, applications, and data storage technologies. But how do we get this inventory information into a usable form for vulnerability management? Organizations use a combination of manual and automated tools and processes to regularly discover, aggregate, and classify components within an environment. For example, there are software tools that integrate with directory-based services and other security suites to provide a unified aggregate view of deployed systems and potential security issues or gaps. Once we have a working inventory and understand our scope, how do we find the vulnerabilities that are relevant to our environment? We need reputable sources for vulnerability information, such as vendor notifications, industry mailing lists, and security tools. Now, most of us have performed, seen, or at least heard of vulnerability scans, or the scanners used to generate those reports. These tools perform scheduled and targeted scans, provide dashboards and trend reports, 
and identify areas of potential concern based on CVSS scores and other defined criteria. So how do we connect these scan results, scores, and findings with the people and processes needed to address the identified issues? This is where our vulnerability management plan and workflows come into play. Some findings may follow a standard response flow, while others require additional escalation and coordination with teams based on the severity of the vulnerability and the identified risk to the organization. Now, a related challenge in vulnerability management then is the need to make informed risk-based decisions. So what does that mean? Risk is not about vulnerabilities, CVSS severity score. And risk is not something we're trying to completely eradicate. Risk is something that we're trying to manage. So risk-based vulnerability management is more about prioritizing and focusing on what is important to the business and aligning the people, the resources, even the response times with those expectations. Do we focus on fixing all the vulnerabilities with the CVSS score of nine or above and then work our way down? How much time do we have to do that? Or do we need to focus first on a business critical area such as an e-commerce payment channel and its web platform? And is this the most business critical area or is there a different one we should focus on first? These are all things to consider as we build out our plan and the associated workflows. We can also integrate vulnerability management components into security orchestration, automation, and response solutions, or SOAR solutions. Tying these workflows or playbooks in with automation can take care of a lot of the manual effort. Then teams can more easily focus on and prioritize work for the higher risk issues. A third challenge is consistency. Companies struggle with this all the time. Personnel and resources are limited. Then priorities change and work is deferred or set aside. Sometimes the only thing that is routine or repeatable for organizations is the vulnerability scan schedule itself. It just runs on autopilot, weekly, monthly, quarterly, but no one has allocated time to regularly analyze the results and determine what needs to be addressed or otherwise escalated. When work is addressed, it might be performed in an ad hoc manner in response to a security breach or as part of an annual audit or assessment preparation exercise. To improve consistency, we can document and implement standardized processes, allocate personnel and assign responsibilities, train personnel in the use of uniform workflows, and apply the right technology to automate the boring stuff and do more of the heavy lifting for us. Maybe even integrate with a source solution. We can also elevate reporting output, dashboards, and key metrics to leadership teams that will further drive accountability and reinforce the consistent practices that we need. The challenges we face in vulnerability management are not insurmountable and certainly not new. However, they do require a level of commitment and transparency across an organization. How are you aligning vulnerability management with your security strategy and your organization's goals? Do you have adequate visibility into your environment or do you need to evaluate other methods and tools to make the process more consistent and more efficient. If you have a risk-based vulnerability management process in place, or are you just trying to get by with a more ad hoc haphazard approach? At Mega Plan IT, we partner with our clients to deal with these and other challenges. Our team is experienced and equipped to help with your current initiatives, identify solutions to difficult problems, and provide advisory services and guidance so that you can continuously improve. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to connecting with you soon.